Once you've satisfactorily pressure tested the loop and gained approval from your client, you can backfill the borehole. You can backfill with different types of grouts, either a pre-mixed grout or a bentonite and silica sand mix. There are benefits to both types of grout, but bentonite based grout, being pliable, is preferable as it allows for expansion and contraction of the loop. In this example, the specification for the borehole is a pre-mixed grout. Granular backfill materials, where specified, should be installed with a tremi pipe. Store any grouting material on pallets and make sure they're not damaged, as this increases the waste and contaminates the surrounding area. The pumping equipment that you use should have hoses of the correct pressure rating and have whip restraints on the coupled connections. It should also be calibrated periodically. Put on a dust mask and then pour the grout into the mixer through the safety grating. The manufacturer's instructions are rather like baking a cake. Don't load the grout in the mixer all at once. Once the grout is mixed to the right consistency, insert the tremi pipe into the borehole, ensuring it is suitable for the purpose and is long enough to reach the bottom of the hole and does not leave a void at the base. Once it's in place, you can start pumping. As the grout is heavier than water, it displaces the fluids in the borehole. Once the grout fills the borehole, the colour and makeup of the displaced fluids will change to that of the grout at the surface. Once this happens, you've filled the hole, so shut down the pump and withdraw the tremi. You're highly likely to have excess grout in the mixer and the tremi, and it will need to be pumped out and the system washed. But do not pump it onto the ground. Instead, pump it into a skip or waste container and avoid contaminating the surrounding area. If required, take a grout sample for crush testing and label it. Record all grout quantities on the drilling log. Once the borehole site is cleared, the sealed pipes will be fully visible within the filled borehole.